What is loss of cervical lordosis and how does it lead to cervical spine problem? Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anuj Bhide. I am a brain and spine surgeon associated with Synapse Spine in Mumbai. Most of the cervical problems arise from something known as loss of cervical lordosis. To understand this concept, first we need to know what is normal cervical lordosis. So our cervical spine is in a convex forward shape. What that means is our cervical spine is angulated in such a way that it is curved in front and the weight of our head falls just behind the anterior column which involves our discs. So this curvature protects our discs from direct pressure being transmitted on them from the weight of our head. So the muscles in the back of our neck hold our neck in this particular curvature. Due to improper posture, long term use of mobile phones, poor muscle tone in our back muscles and our neck muscles, gradually this curvature starts becoming straight. When this curvature starts becoming straight, it is called loss of lordosis. Now what happens when this curvature straightens is that the weight of our head which was previously being transmitted just behind our disc spaces gradually shifts in front. The center of gravity now falls straight through our vertebral bodies and the discs in between them. What this does over a prolonged period of time is compresses the disc spaces between the two bones. Now imagine two bricks or a stack of bricks with a semi-solid cement like material between them and you keep pressing the bricks vertically for many years together what is going to happen is the water content of the cement will gradually go on reducing and the cement will start becoming harder and harder this is the same thing that happens with our cervical spine the discs lose their elasticity they lose their water content they become hard and they spill out from their normal positions this causes compression of the nerve structures which are behind and that leads to various neck pain problems, nerve compression problems, which we collectively call as pondylosis.